Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Jia Yuan. In the last video, we are talking about the covariance of Dirac equation. And we know that in order to make Dirac equation covariant, we need to impose a condition which says that gamma mu equals d of lambda gamma mu lambda mu mu d inverse of lambda so this is the condition that we need to make Dirac equation covariant so how, what can we know from this equation first let's talk about the d of lambda d of lambda is a matrix representation of the Lorentz group so we can expand it near identity so we can expand the d of lambda as 1 plus i over 2 omega mu nu j mu nu omega mu nu here is a uh, infinitesimal parameters so we expand the d of lambda to the first order as the omega mu nu is inf infinitesimal infinitesimal parameters and the j mu nu here is the generator of our Lorentz group generator generators okay so this is our expansion and we also know that what is lambda mu nu here lambda mu nu is just delta mu nu plus some omega mu nu it is still an uh, infinitesimal expansion. Uh, I should okay. Okay, I should erase here to make this more clear. Okay, so this is what we have, right? So now what shall we do? We shall plug in, we shall plug these formulas into this equation to say what we can get. What uh, properties should the j mu nu and the gamma mu satisfy so first uh, let's do a little trick let's lower the index mu so if we lower the index mu here this becomes eta sub mu nu so let's write it down so plug it in we have uh, d of lambda is equal to 1 plus i over 2 omega alpha beta j alpha beta and uh, this term is just uh, uh, gamma mu eta mu nu omega plus omega mu nu and uh, this term, the inverse lambda, is just 1 minus i over 2 omega alpha, uh, omega, omega zo sigma j zo sigma equals gamma sub mu. Here, why should I use different, uh, di different letters instead of just uh, mu nu here because we already have mu nu here so to avoid the ambiguity we should introduce another uh, letters like alpha beta uh, zo sigma here because alpha beta and zo sigma just uh, dummy this is we can change the name yeah that's legal okay so let's look at this equation first let's check the index so it's dummy indices and the uh, uh, mu contracted here. So we have mu, just the, the effective index mu, and have an effective index mu here. So that's correct. 
And now we shall uh, calculate this term first. Uh, gamma mu, gamma nu, eta mu nu equals eta, eta sub nu, eta sub mu. Okay, so it's sorry. No, it's not eta sub mu. It's gamma sub mu. Sorry, and uh, we already have a uh, uh, gamma mu here. Sorry, gamma nu here. Yeah, this is what we get after we um, contracted uh, with gamma mu and uh, eta mu nu, omega mu nu here. So we get uh, gamma mu plus gamma nu, omega mu nu. So this is what we get. And uh, the index still works, right? So the next step, we uh, compute the, these two terms, and it's just uh, uh, one, so it becomes gamma mu plus gamma nu omega mu nu plus this term times this term, so it's one over, uh, it's i over two omega alpha beta j alpha beta sub gamma sub mu. Yeah, right. And this term, because omega and some infinitesimal parameters. So we just ignore the second over the, the second order uh, small quantities. So we didn't have that term. And uh, uh, that's well times this term. And uh, we shall calculate it. Look at these big things. So the first term is just uh, the first term times one, right? So, and the second term is just uh, gamma mu times this term. And uh, for this term, this term times this term, because they are just the second order small quantities because have, uh, have omega squared, so we ignore them. So what we have is just, uh, this term plus this term times this term, so it's minus i over 2 and the gamma mu omega rho sigma j rho sigma and equals gamma mu. So we can cancel this term. So it becomes zero. And then now let's look at the, the remains. What do we have? We have this term, this term, and this term. So we should uh, get rid of omega, alpha, beta. It is some actually infinitesimal, infinitesimal parameters. So how can we get rid of omega? So first, we need to make the three terms have the same omega, I mean, the same indexes. Like if we just remain omega alpha beta. So here, what should we do? We should change rho sigma to alpha beta. Alpha beta. And here, we didn't have omega alpha beta, but we want to have omega alpha beta. So, what shall we do? First, we need to cancel this gamma mu, equals zero. And then, we just, uh, this is gamma mu, and uh, we shall write down the omega alpha beta, omega alpha beta, but actually we have omega mu nu, so we need to introduce some Deltas, right? Like delta alpha mu, delta beta nu. This is what we get. This is just omega mu nu. So here we can get rid of the omega alpha beta in this equation because it's actually infinitesimal parameters. So get rid of it. So it becomes simpler, right? 
So what shall we get? What shall we get? Uh, this sin minus this sin plus this sin equals zero, and this sin is just uh, gamma. We can have a uh, delta alpha mu, and uh, this mu this mu was contracted, so it's gamma uh, beta plus this c we have the overall factor i over 2 and we have j alpha beta gamma mu minus gamma mu j alpha beta this is what we get and we can put this on the right hand side and uh, lower the index of alpha beta so what shall we get uh, it's just uh, this is a computator here we lower the index alpha beta so the right hand side is minus this we should also get uh, make the alpha and beta down so if we make this alpha down it's just uh, eta alpha mu and gamma beta so this is what we get or oh, we have a minus sign because we put this on the right hand side okay this is what we get right and we can just uh, say that j alpha beta is anti-symmetric because omega mu is anti-symmetric so we have the remaining j or must be anti-symmetric so if we say this alpha beta is anti-symmetric we can just change this into two terms it's an equivalent just write it it becomes and the change the, the, the position of alpha and beta it's just uh, gamma beta mu uh, eta beta mu gamma alpha okay this is our result we find the commutator between the j alpha beta and the gamma mu and so we can write down uh, it uh, more carefully like uh, put the i over 2 on the right hand side so we get this is our result j alpha beta gamma mu equals this minus sign is just uh, i squared so uh, if we cancel this we have a i here but here I want to change the position of this two so we can write down it as minus i and uh, uh, gamma alpha eta beta mu minus gamma beta eta alpha mu so this is our final result now next step in the next video i will solve this equation to say what j alpha beta we shall have thank you